Breaking news right now at 11, a daycare director arrested and charged with child neglect tonight. And we've just got new video into our newsroom that shows Daryl Ewing's arrest. You see him right there getting into the back of that JSO car. Police say he was the driver of the van where a four month old was left for four hours, more than four hours before being pronounced dead. Now this happened at Ewing's Love and Hope Daycare over on Jacksonville's west side. And tonight we have been digging into his past and we found that this is the fourth time he's been arrested by JSO and he has multiple criminal traffic violations on his record charges dating back to 2002. Now, while many of them have been dropped or dismissed, he has been found guilty several times of driving on a suspended license. And tonight we have live team coverage for you. We start with Jeff Vallon, who is live at the scene right now with a look at how we got here. Jeff. Anthony and Heather, let's point out first of all that the van is right behind me here. That is the van in which that child was left this afternoon, or I should say this morning. Now, if you ask DCF, it's not because Ewing Love and Hope Preschool was just breaking rules within its transportation operation. It was not even authorized to have a transportation operation. Obviously, this is a tragedy most of all for the family of the infant girl who died, but one that also has a ripple effect for daycares everywhere very sad for the family first and then for the people involved. Kimberly Wright describing when she got the news that an infant had died after being left in a daycare van in summer like heat for an estimated five hours. The parents need to be able to trust us to care for the children and when something like this happens it just sets us back. Kimberly has owned and operated Little Feet Academy of Jacksonville for 11 years. She doesn't run transportation but she knows the rules well among them, two adults at all times and written roll calls. You sign them on when they get on, you sign them off when they get off, and you do a count. After that, one of those persons are responsible on the transporter to do a sweep of that transporter to make sure no one is left behind. One mother tells us she removed her kids from Ewing Love and Hope three years ago for a reason made haunting by Wednesday's tragedy. They were left on the same exact daycare van. Luckily, they were grade school age and could get themselves off. But there's another overriding rule. You're supposed to report to DCF anytime you're doing transportation. Something DCF says Ewing Love and Hope never did. A breach that has DCF requesting that Ewing be closed immediately. When something like this happens, and it's happened a lot more than we care to, to hear, um, it's heart-wrenching. We are also looking at the backgrounds of the people in charge at Ewing's Love and Hope Daycare. Crystal Bailey picks it up from here live in the newsroom. Crystal. That's right. Daryl Ewing's wife and co-owner of the daycare, Glorianne, was arrested just uh, less than two years ago. Her mugshot here from 2017 when her ex-husband pressed charges against her for alleged child abuse. Now we spoke with him tonight. He feels pretty strongly about today's events. He says DCF failed when they let her run a daycare. If she would have been shut down from the start, this wouldn't have happened. Willie Floyd has two children with Glory Ann Ewing. He pressed child abuse charges against her in December of 2017 after his kids told him they were severely beaten at her home. The report says the children told him Ewing had used an extension cord to hit them because they did not clean the kitchen well enough. Pictures showing punctured skin and welts were mentioned in the police report. It hurts. You know that, that I couldn't be there to protect my kids. He says he's been pushing for change. I've been trying to get the state to do something for years. I've been going to them and every time I would go, they would brush it off. When he heard what happened to an infant. Why was the baby left in the back of the van? Floyd says he was saddened, but not surprised. I don't feel safe with my son around his mother. Now we went by the Ewing house for a comment, but the gates are locked and it looks like no one is home. Now, Josiah Hill says his kids go to the daycare and he's had issues with the facility. He even posted his bad review on Google two months ago, saying the employees were bad daycare workers. Just carelessness unnecessary, somebody's not paying attention. And Floyd says he can't imagine what the infant's family is going through, but his heart goes out to them. I'm just sorry for the family's loss. Again, this mugshot is from 2017. The charges in the 20, 2017 case did not result in jail time. She took part in a pre-trial intervention program and those charges were dropped. The Gloria Ewing is not facing any charges in connection to the baby's death today. JSO tells us the investigation is active and ongoing. Back to you guys.